Okay, for my multimedia documentation, I have been assigned to show how to download and install a new font. I'm using Mac with running 10.6.2 um, as the operating system. I'm going to install it and use it in PowerPoint 2008. Alright, so the first thing you need to do on a Mac um, is to find where your fonts are. And on a Mac, if you go to your applications and go font, there's an application called Fontbook. In this application, you can see every single font that is installed on your computer. So lots of different types. Um, and you can see each font sometimes has regular, italic, bold, whatnot. So there's where our fonts are. Let's open PowerPoint as well. So when we're looking for fonts, obviously downloading things, the best place to download things is the internet. So let's go to the internet I'm using Safari and let's just Google free fonts since that's probably one of the best ways to find obviously free fonts. Um, first one looks legitimate, especially on a Mac you're not going to have viruses anyway but fonts, I highly doubt there's going to be many viruses in fonts. So let's just download the first one the TTF file and as you can see here that it's going to open in Fontbook. So let's double click it. It should, there you go, open in Fontbook. Looks like there's only one type of um, version for this. Um, let's install the font, make sure everything's okay with it, validate the font, um, proceed with caution, let's see what it says should be okay, duplicate fonts, yeah, it'll be okay for this demonstration. Go back to PowerPoint, and let's test the font. For some reason over here, if you look for fonts, it doesn't generally show up. Um, I wasn't able to figure out why, but if you go to Format, Font, you can find all of your fonts. So there we go, Abbey Line is the font we use. Looks pretty decent. Now let's find a poem. One of the most famous authors and writers of all time, Shakespeare. Sonnet 18. Um, let's go down to Wikipedia. Usually, especially for poems, there's not going to be anything messed up with that. Copy Shakespeare's poem. I want this one. Let's delete all of this. And paste it in there. Oh. Okay, we're gonna make it big. And for the presentation, dot size 24. Looks okay, but that's not our font. Let's go back to font. Abbey line. Should change it. Looks bit crunched. Let's make this a bit bigger here. And 24. Let's that looks okay. Um, let's change one more thing. Paragraph. Line spacing 1.5. Uh, no. Let's change it to 26. Looks better. And let's change the background. Looks a bit more palm like. Doesn't look too bad. And so there you go. You have your your new font your new palm in PowerPoint. It's quite easy as you can see and whenever you have any questions always Google's a good answer or if you go here on, as you can see on YouTube lots of different tutorials on how to find things. So there you go. Downloading and installing a new font in PowerPoint 2008.